Hello to everyone and anyone watching this video. My name is Taja. I am a 22 year old third year student at the University of Leeds. I am sitting in my university bedroom and I'm about to write a letter to myself on a website. If you can see it. Called uh, Future Me, uh, where you write yourself a letter and it gets sent to you. Um, a year, well, any time later, but I'm picking a year later. Um, so I guess the video you're about to see is future me, which is I guess now me, because I guess this is past me by the time you're watching this. But you're gonna see future slash now me reading the letter I'm about to write. So um, yeah, I guess it should be fun, um, and I hope you enjoy. Yeah. So without further ado, here's future Taja reacting to my letter. Hello to everyone and anyone watching this video. My name is Taja, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a video that I literally have been waiting to film for a year. As you saw in the intro, one year ago today, May 7th, 2020, I found this website. I actually heard about it from Damon Dominique. He mentioned it in a video. It's basically this website where you write yourself a letter and then you can have it emailed to you in I think it's a year or three years or five years. I picked one year and I thought it'd be cool to react to it today since it's a year later. I actually got the email yesterday but because it was a leap year it came on the 6th but because I wrote it on the 7th of last year I decided to wait until today to react to it. Just to give you some context on how my life was a year ago I was documented so you can go back a year ago and see what kind of videos I was doing but I was writing my dissertation which one year later is now my most viewed video ever at I think nearly 8,000 views if it's not reached 8,000 already which is absolutely insane obviously it was in the midst of the pandemic it'd been a, like a few months of lockdown I was going insane and I was home alone because at that point my housemates had left I mean I was living in Leeds I was still a student about to graduate but I was living in Leeds so I wasn't even in London summer was coming and I was feeling so many different emotions so much like uncertainty was going Going on I wasn't sure how my future was gonna look or how things were gonna turn out with the pandemic or like anything I don't know it's just a crazy time in my life and I think when I wrote that letter I was kind of hoping that I'd be writing it with the intention that in the year from now my life would be more like balanced and more like sorted out and stuff because I did have so many questions about how my life was gonna be so I have an idea of the sort of things I wrote but I'd be really interested to know like the questions I asked myself and if I like achieved anything that I asked myself or what I wrote or something but I don't know I have a feeling that it's gonna be mildly disappointing seeing as how this the past like 12 months has gone since I wrote that letter at that point we thought that by summer this whole thing would be over and that wasn't the case so I guess it's gonna be kind of disappointing reading it um based on what I think me a year ago was thinking of the pandemic and my life and stuff but who knows it might be all right <laughs> i think i don't know we'll, we'll have to find out now i guess i'm literally going to just be reading it and just like discussing whatever i've said oh uh, i'm kind of scared not gonna lie i'm scared but i'm ready okay by the way the website is called future me so if you guys want to do this then i'll link the website down below and like i said full credits to damon dominique who gave me the idea to do this i can't remember what video it was it was a year ago but um if i can't be bothered i'll find the video Ooh! oh my god it's actually quite long okay sure okay oh i'm scared my heart is actually beating i'm so scared i'm scared of like the disappointment i feel like i'm gonna be really disappointed because i feel like i had so much dreams i was quite like optimistic at that point in my life like oh you know i'm gonna graduate i'm gonna travel i'm gonna do this lockdown will be over and i feel like it's gonna be kind of sad reading this and i don't know we'll see we'll see dare feature me i'm currently sitting in my third year uni bedroom as i write this I'm all alone because of Miss Rona and lockdown. I hope things are better with that. Mm, I mean, they're kind of better. Obviously now we have a vaccine. At this point there was no vaccine. So I guess things are looking like they're getting better. But I mean, obviously as we all know, things got a lot worse before they got better. Obviously like in the summer, it was looking like things were going down. And then autumn winter was really bad with cases. So kind of got much worse before we've reached this point where it is finally seeming to get better. 
but and even now to be honest i obviously like i said we do have a vaccine but there's all these variants and stuff and there's still so much uncertainty i feel like i i'm trying to stay positive but i don't want to be 100 percent yeah things gonna be great because that's how i thought things were gonna be a year ago and look what happened but for now i'd say things are getting mildly better i'm writing my dissert at the moment it's hard and boring and my three brain cells don't have enough concentration to focus on it but i hope you did well in it you better have got a 2-1 though i did get a 2-1 i did get a 2-1 that i think my reacting to my university grades that's my third highest video which is really embarrassing because i'm crying in that video it's so embarrassing but i did get a 2-1 so yeah i got a 2-1 overall and in my dissertation and my dissertation was my highest mark of anything i did like in third year and also was it in second year too i don't know but in third year it was my highest like grade of anything so really proud of that so not only did i get a really popular video i also got a good grade so that was a win for me if you followed your dreams you should be in australia by now that is assuming that's not been messed up by corona or any other factors keeping you in the uk <laughs> Please make sure you're talking to your family often with you being so far away. I used to want to go to Oz because I wanted to get away from my family, but being all alone in lockdown and not having seen them in four months has me missing them. So you're probably missing them where you are too. What? Um, chill. Anyway, so. Well, obviously we're not in Australia. I've said this before, but I wanted to do a working holiday visa in Australia. Obviously that didn't happen because of Rona. I feel like it could have happened at one point during like summer if I had the money and stuff I could have gone but I think for me personally I just didn't feel comfortable doing that also like I'm pretty sure where I wanted to go Melbourne went back into lockdown and they had a really really long and bad lockdown and I just didn't think it was the right time and also I can't really afford it I haven't managed to get a job yet to save up for that so that's not happened yet I've decided I'm gonna go not this year but next year like end of next summer as in like summer 2020 what 2020 summer after summer 20 oh my god i can't speak <laughs> okay i just had to stop filming because my mom called me <sighs> she was like moaning at me which is ironic given what i just read because obviously at that point i hadn't seen my family in so long i was semi missing them to be honest like i say semi because half of me like you know when you haven't got something so you kind of miss it but when you have it you kind of realize like it's not as great as it is in your head i think that's how i was feeling about my family back then now i've been home for nearly a year i've not had the best time here you guys must think i hate them i swear i don't it's just very very like dysfunctional and you know stuff like that but it's not been easy being at home especially you know going from being so independent that you need to like having no space for yourself so it's been quite difficult to be honest but i don't know i definitely envy whoever taj from a year ago was imagining where she was away in australia with her own space and stuff it's been really difficult at home but it's funny it's just it's just where that perspective is like completely different now i think what i was saying before was that australia will happen probably at the end of summer 2022 it won't happen this summer things aren't stable enough with the pandemic and stuff but yeah definitely still want to do that so we'll see what happens oh okay we're not reading that skipping a bit da, 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 da. have you fallen in love but only if you're in love with the right person and focused on your goals and dreams first um no <laughs> no i'm not falling in love yet i'm still single but i am currently on hinge again so we'll see what happens with that maybe i will have a boyfriend this time next may we'll see but yeah for now obviously with the pandemic the pandemic is a great cock block if i'm completely honest although i say that but bare people have been getting into relationships just this like lockdown i'm like how in a panasonic how are you finding people i don't understand i guess like online dating but i don't know i'm trying really hard dating makes you really really anxious and boys make me really really anxious but i do want to put myself out there because i'm so lonely but yeah we'll see what happens with that but for now i am not in love are you still in contact with your uni friends and then i just listed my uni friends are those names the names are strange now i hope not what about your home friends and then i listed my home friends so yeah i'm in contact still with all of my uni friends yeah we have a group chat i to be honest i when i was kind of like depressed like november december january um i kind of stopped participating in the chat you know that one person in the chat that doesn't say anything that was me 
not because I didn't like them, just because I was in a really bad place. I was kind of isolating myself. I do that when I'm in low points. But I'm still in contact with them. In fact, um, we actually have a call later on today. Like a video call, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I'm very much in contact with them. Love you all. Anyone from uni who's watching this, I love you. I miss you. Can't wait to see you. We plan to go to Park Life this summer. Well, end of summer, it's, um, September. And we plan to go on a night out in October, assuming that clubs are back open. So yeah, I'm very much in contact with them. Miss them daily. Wish they were here. Wish I was still living with them. But you know. And yeah, I am obviously still in contact with my home friends. I love them all, of course, as well. I saw them on my birthday weeks ago none of my friends from a year ago are strangers now which i'm very happy to say i hope you're successful in every way i hope you're thriving financially your youtube channel is doing well brackets have you reached 1000 subscribers yet and you're sinking your teeth into writing you know oh i was gonna say something but like it's a secret thing i'm doing to do with writing so the first bit are you successful are you financially thriving no like you would have seen in my last video i am currently unemployed haven't had a job since well i haven't had a job since 2019 but yeah i've not been working since i've graduated but it's fine because i'm still looking obviously the pandemic has affected that that's the reason why i've been unemployed but we're still looking hopefully i'll find one soon in terms of youtube i have reached 1000 subscribers really proud of that i'm currently on 1.3 something subscribers which is really exciting i think 1.36 so that's really really cool um so thank you everyone who is here subscribe thank you so much love youtube still doing that of course never gonna stop doing that ever 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 makes me really happy so yeah and writing like i just said i'm doing well i'm supposed to be doing this secret project like thing to do with like writing i literally haven't looked at that project in months it might be coming up to a year now i don't know i think i've just not been prioritizing it and i really really want to do it because it's something that's really really important to me maybe in the summer i'll try and focus on that but for now i have not been doing that but i will that's a dream that i'm definitely going to see through at some point hopefully oh no this part's going to make me sad okay did you ever end up traveling to europe mamma mia style or did rona fuck that up too i hope you did i miss paris so i hope you returned and berlin continues to call my name i haven't been in trailing yet and i've decided that i'm not gonna go this year either same reason as australia i'm not gonna be doing any traveling like abroad this year i know that it's gonna be allowed and stuff but i just feel like i'm not comfortable doing that i do have plans to go traveling 2022 though i'm gonna do a birthday trip and i want to go in trailing in the summer and obviously australia as well but i'll will be next year i don't know i was really sad about that but it's fine i'd rather just plan to do it next year when i know there's more of a chance of doing it than saying oh yeah hopefully this year and then disappoint point myself because that's what happened last year to be honest because even at that point i kind of knew deep down it probably won't happen because of the pandemic but i was still kind of being optimistic about that but obviously that's not happening anymore but yeah that's again something that i'm definitely going to be doing just gonna wait till things are settled with the pandemic and i have the backy waiting for that hopefully i'll get that soon are you healthy physically and mentally are you anyway close to battling your demons and past traumas what about your loved ones i hope they're all healthy and well too Am I healthy physically and mentally? Short answer, not as much as I could be. This month I've been kind of focusing on trying to be like more physically healthy. I've been having a quite bad relationship with food recently, if I'm completely honest. I don't want to go into it, I don't want to trigger anyone. Nothing serious or anything, but yeah, I'm trying to refix really that and try and fix how I feel about my body image and trying to be more healthy and fit and stuff like that. Mentally, uh, I mean, the past 12 months has been a roller coaster of my emotions. I really 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 struggled i had one of the worst bouts of mental health issues that i've had like in my whole life in autumn winter since then i've definitely improved in my mental health but it's still not it's still no i'm okay actually i'm doing okay i'm all right i'm definitely I'm at a better place but it could be better in terms of my past traumas and stuff again i'm trying to work towards that if you see in the video i've made a couple weeks ago about feeling not enough and that kind of thing i think my traumas and stuff definitely link to that and i don't know i'm trying to work on myself and stuff but i'm also trying oh my god but i do think i do need to get some professional help which i've kind of been putting off because i think what happens with me when my and my mental health is that like i kind of wait until i'm okay and then when i'm okay i'm like oh okay i don't need help anymore and then i get bad and i'm like oh shit i should have been getting help because now i'm like in a really bad place i want to say this summer i want to 
like apply for some sort of like counseling or therapy for my problems because i think that would be really good for me and i want to do that before like i get fired again because i don't know when it's gonna happen so the sooner the better with that oh i'm nearly finished okay i've got to go now i'm starving and i have a dissertation to write brackets although i've enjoyed writing this way more lol i hope whatever you're doing you're probably smashing it and i'm really proud of you Taja from last year is so cute. Oh, what a sweetheart. I mean, I feel like I'm definitely doing the best I can given like the horrific circumstances we're in at the moment. I think I'm definitely doing okay. I'm doing decent and I am proud of myself. It's not been easy this past 12 months between this letter and today, but it's been okay and I do feel positive for the future. So I don't know. I'm doing alright. And I'm proud of myself too. Present me is also proud of present me as well as past me. Being proud of present me. So, yeah. Lots of love, Taja, from May 7th, 2020. P.S. <laughs> I'm actually such a comedian. P.S. Was 2020 redeemed? I know I kind of asked you this already, but I hope you went off the rails in summer 2020 to make up for everything that's happened these past few months. Plus, you deserve to, after just finishing uni, lol, okay, bye, xx. <laughs> oh my god. Um, well, no, I didn't go off the rails. I mean, I feel like I went off the rails, like, in autumn, winter, but that was because I was depressed. Summer 2020 was, it wasn't, no, I, I think given the circumstances, last summer wasn't that bad, but obviously... If you compare it to other summers, it was very underwhelming. There was definitely some good memories in summer 2020 though, um, so it wasn't all bad. But yeah, that's the letter that I wrote to myself a year ago, that's so crazy. You know what I'm gonna do guys? I actually need to leave the house soon because I'm actually going on a photo shoot today. That's why I look really pretty today, not just for you guys. I'm actually going out for a photo shoot, so I need to leave in like 10 minutes. But I think I'm actually going to write myself a letter for the future. I think that could be fun, I don't know. So I guess I'll just write it later on this evening. If you're still subscribed to me a year on, then that would be kind of cool to see what I've said now and then compare it to what I've said about this time next year. It'll be really interesting to see what my life is like next year. I feel like in terms of like my living situation and stuff, it's not going to be that different. But I hope like in terms of the pandemic, I hope there's massive improvements. I hope that I'm employed. I hope I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm so lonely. I need a boyfriend. I hope I am just happy. I hope I'm still in contact with my friends I mentioned here. I hope, yeah, I just hope things are better. I hope I've traveled somewhere at that point. I hope that, I don't know, I just hope I'm healthy. I hope people I care about are healthy. Yeah, I don't know. I hope things are more normal and less uh, COVID focused, but we'll see what happens by then, but yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't boring. I might have been boring. I don't know. But yeah, let me know if you were subscribed to me this time last year. You would have been if you were around when I posted my dissertation vlog. I guess that's the kind of time I wrote this. So if you were subscribed to me then, then that means you've been here for at least a year, which is insane. Aside from that, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Come at me with that type of insanity. You know, there's that shit I don't need. Sometimes I feel.